when the winds of fall roll fresh down the plains and trees and grass gather frozen rain. Then warriors will meet on a field of green to settle the score, to build a team. The ball is snapped, the play is run, the men fight on till the final gun. The mothers wait, and young men dream about the day they'll wear the crimson and cream. Rock yo, no stop yo, to the beat yo, the body rock yo, to the lane rock yo, no stop yo, to the beat yo, the body rock yo. Oklahoma football. Welcome to the campus of the University of Oklahoma as Fox Sports Net proudly presents Oklahoma Sooner Football. This evening, the Arkansas State Indians are in town to face the Oklahoma Sooners. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Land, along with Dean Blevins. Glad to have you with us again here this week in Norman. Well, Dean, the temperatures have cooled off, but the action might be a little bit hotter. This Arkansas State team can play. You know, the Indians, Bill, last week should have won a big game. They went back to North Carolina State to a club that's trying to turn it around, and they went to double overtime. Probably should have won that game. North Carolina State goes on today and wins on the road playing Indiana. And one of the reasons they come here with some hope is I don't think that they think that they're going to be intimidated by this big crowd at OU. Part of the reason for that might be they have an outstanding tailback in Jonathan Adams. Jonathan Adams is a guy that was one of the top three recruits at his position coming out of Osceola, Arkansas. And there are his numbers from a week ago. This guy weighs 220 pounds. He's thick. He's a bruiser. He's always moving forward. He is a really good looking back. And, you know, he could play for a lot of people. Big challenge maybe for the Oklahoma defense. Well, their linebackers should be up to it. They've got a stud in Rocky Kalmus who had a great week last week. He'll slide over to his normal position this week because Torrance Marshall, who was suspended a week ago, is back. Everything you said is right. And what, <laughs> what that means is that the middle linebacker position is Marshall, but here's Rocky Kalmus. He moves back outside the weak side linebacker. This guy plays through pain. He's a terrific guy to have on your team. Torrance Marshall is a guy that Bob Stoops said, you know, we really didn't miss a lot without him. But I like guys like Torrance Marshall who are about 6'3", 248. 39 inch vertical the best on the team and you know they can uh, lift the building <laughs> let's not forget the offensive side Josh Heupel is back and we'll be back in just a moment Heupel saying he had an off game last week he only threw for 274 yards stay with us it's the Sooners and Arkansas State in just a moment a sellout crowd in Norman greets the hometown Sooners as Oklahoma fresh off a season opening win over UTEP takes the field here in Norman Head coach Bob Stoops in his second year as the Sooners will face Arkansas State. Bill Land and Dean Blevins from high atop Memorial Stadium down on Owen Field. Let's take it to the third man of the crew, Gary Reasons. Bill, much, quite a bit of a contrast from a week ago. It was 106 degrees here down here on the field at kickoff a week ago. A very pleasant 86 or so here tonight. I think the fans are going to enjoy this quite a bit more this evening. You know, about these two teams tonight, you talked about the defensive side of the ball for the University of Oklahoma. Well, don't, don't worry because Josh Heifel's going to throw it plenty tonight. Last week, they passed it around to nine different receivers who caught balls for this team. Expect a lot of the fireworks to go on again this evening. I talked to both, co both coaches before the ball game and for University of Arkansas State, 
the coach told me that they were going to come here and they were going to play this not like a scrimmage, but they were coming here to win. So Joe Hollis knows his club has the potential because they played very well last week against North Carolina State. And Bob Swoops, hey, he said his team played well last week. They're going to build on this thing this week and try to be a lot better ball club overall. He wants to win this ball game and he wants to celebrate the win, not only for that, but to celebrate his 40th birthday. Bill? Yeah, and he liked to make it a happy one. One thing about Coach Stoops, no matter how excited the fans are, and they are plenty, <laughs> he has his feet firmly planted on this turf here. Victory over UTEP, and Heifel, 274 yards passing last week, had 10 drops from his receivers, though, so look for him to do even better this week. There's a look at last season. The offensive line, Bubba Bertram got a game ball for his performance last week. Drift from the trail. Savage, the leading receiver last week with five grabs for 87 yards. Hypers got his man first down across the 30 as Wolfo makes the grab. His second of the season, Andre, a sophomore from Denver, Colorado. Here's the defensive front for Arkansas State. A 3-4 with Miller and Kellum, the senior anchors, on the ends for the Indians. The linebackers, led by the team captain, Sagoon Azabeda. He is an outstanding talent. And in the secondary, look for Headley to possibly not see as much action tonight. He's got a shoulder problem. Bowens is a two-way performer for this club, as is Wolfolk, who made that catch for OU. First to 10 at the 34, on the ground. Griffin bowls across the 40, got nine, and OU is moving it from the get-go. Deals work from last week, and you see 50%, but he expects better at that, as does the staff. Here's another first down for Oklahoma. Latrell, last week just had one carry, one reception. Seth, the senior from Muskogee, moves those chains as the Sooners Move it into Arkansas State territory. The shotgun here, second and eight. This is an audible. He sees something he wants downfield. Looking that way. Going to keep the football. Got to now. Looking for a block, and he's tucked down at the 41-yard line by Ozabeda. It's a potential injury. Oklahoma can't afford that. Third and four, the 41. There's the first down to Savage as he dives to the 30-yard line. Antoine Savage, a sophomore from Albany, Georgia. He does. First and 10 at the 31. Up the middle, Griffin stumbling and slips a ball. The 23-yard line. Great leg strength there, even though he stumbled. Second and one, Griffin not going to get it. Good pursuit that time by the ASU defense, led by Joe Jones. Third and one at the 22. Sooners first possession. Heifel keeps it. All he was thinking was first down, almost went for a TD. Let's go down to Gary Reasons. Gary. Josh, great protection now, moves out. Finds a man, completed the 10, and bumped at the six yard line. It'll be first and goal, Oklahoma. Watch up here at the top, Wolfork. He will buy time. He is out to the sideline. He sees Josh Heifel scrambling. Wolfolk finds the seam in there. They're, he's running against zone coverage, so all you have to do is sit in a pocket. Wolfolk, 16 yards on that play. OU comes back with Luttrell. He slams his way down near the two-yard line. Nine plays last week total, including special teams and defense. Luttrell trying to get in inside the one-yard line on a second and goal. Third down coming up now. As old as you see, this one sneaked right over the right side is where he goes and he gets in. Thank you very much. Arkansas State wishes they were listening. <laughs> Oklahoma by cable on the board. <laughs> it was available in their locker room. And the Sooners with Heifel getting the TD. And Oklahoma up 6-0. Tim Duncan will come on for the PAT. Oklahoma, pretty good looking drive. Heifel takes it in, 7-0. He's not listening to us, I hope. Bill, last week there were 10 drops, as you mentioned earlier, and there you see the numbers, 80 yards, 15 plays, a great start for Oklahoma. But Cleo Lemon, a four-year starter, last year for nearly 1,600 yards. Their offensive line, a veteran group, four of the five over 300 pounds. Kilo is their best receiver, but Hickenbotham has got great speed. They'd like to get him the ball more often tonight. The Sooner defensive group, Heineke Fisher making his 34th appearance. 
Klein, a great start as a redshirt freshman last week. We mentioned Marshall is back. Kalmus was a star a week ago, as well as Stefan. And in the secondary for the Sooners, Thatcher and Williams had INTs last week. Roy taking his for six. They were in overtime. Quick look on the first down pass and a pickup of about five again. Rocky Kalmus makes the tackle as the Indians move the football. They're throwing it the right side to Hickenbotham. Oliver team next year when he gets a hold of that schedule. Third and 11. The dump is complete, but going nowhere. Good pursuit by Oklahoma. Torrance Marshall staying right with that play, and Oklahoma will get it back. As I made the mistake most people did here, considering that was going to be an extra point. Here's a 24-yard field goal attempt by Duncan. We'll take a look at it and how it missed. Ben Painter, perfect snap. Fletcher, perfect hole. It was a pull. Duncan knew better than to put his hands up. I think he was bagging at that point. Hoping. This, this guy's going to be a good kicker. He'd made all four from a week ago. What quarterback? Lemon brings him out on third and nine. Ball on the 21. Kilo on the reception. OU had it smelled. There's a flag, though, after the tackle, or as the tackle was being made at the 22-yard line. He on, on 30, I should say. As Andy Shatley, who's from Jonesboro, short kick at 35. Thatcher went right by one. Cross midfield. Watch out. Hold on. Thatcher. Touchdown. Saying that the special teams needed more discipline, they needed more hustle. Everyone does a good job, although one guy gets blown up, who, as average, got blown away, and Thatcher takes it the distance. Bill, he had a terrific return for touchdown last year at home against Oklahoma State. This young guy out of Norman is making quite an impression. You got a little giddy up, son. Stuff Arkansas State, Thatcher, a 66 yard return. And Oklahoma now a two touchdown lead over Arkansas State. And that's what you do to a team when you come in as a prohibitive favorite. You don't let them stay around. You know, I thought that it's a different level, but Nebraska today and Notre Dame went down to the wire. A couple of big special teams play in that game, kept Notre Dame right in it where they easily could have won that game, ended up going to overtime. And Oklahoma here not wanting to mess with this bunch as they did last week a little bit with UTEP. No question about it. I mean, you, you start talking about guys like Billy Vessel. Uh, even though I didn't play with those guys, I'm a historian. I love the game. The game of college football is nothing like it. Billy Vessel, Steve Owens, Billy Sims. I mean, I wore his number. In fact, I changed uh, to number 20 after my sophomore season because I think uh, maybe Weldon Ledbetter or Jerome Ledbetter actually had number 20 at that point, so I couldn't wear it. But no question, the tradition impacts you big time, and I think that's why I'm so excited now to see us get back into that tradition of winning again because, you know, you you get two or three or four or five years a gap where you don't have that excellence these young kids they they forget very very quickly so i'm jacked about what they're doing uh as he is jacked about what they're doing arkansas state's higginbotham pretty good return of his own right he won and oklahoma to take the punt from shatley again it is thatcher you know he's bringing it Watch out, 30. Thatcher still going and stumbles across the 40-yard line. A terrific return. A flag is thrown. And it's going to be a foul, personal foul, I believe, on Arkansas State. Heupel by the shotgun. Works, 40, 35, and Works pushes forward to the 33-yard line. For receptions tonight. Last week it was the running game. Tonight he's getting it through the air. Here's a run for Ronaldo. And he slips his way for a first down to the 30 yard line before Ojaveda made the tackle for Arkansas State. First and 10 at the 30. Heifel again, plenty of time. Quickly the man coming across the 20 and inside there, J or Trent Smith, sophomore from Clinton, Oklahoma. And having a first and goal after that penalty from the eight-yard line. Works, breaks the tackle and dives across the five. That was the kind of effort we saw a week ago in his highlight, what, four-yard touchdown run where he carried four across the goal line with him. <laughs> Pull it up, set it down, and leave it for someone else to carry in. Second down and goal for the 11 now. Heupel 
Looking for some room. Found an opening. Flag thrown. Touchdown if it's not on OU. Griffin dropped one earlier that could have gone in. And, and then that one. And Heupel setting records every time out. The Got his man at the 10. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Mackey. Damian Mackey. Thirteen here on the side. He runs in a corner route. Or excuse me, he is up the boundary. By Heifel in his play. I believe Josh uh, will will be a better quarterback this year and, and more productive uh, for the reasons that I, I think he's in better condition and shape. He's stronger than he was a year ago. He's worked really hard uh, preparing for this season in, in that manner. Uh, I believe it's, he's been able to concentrate on his techniques and fundamentals. Uh, now that he understands the scheme and, and what our offense is, uh, you know, he understands the mental part of it. Uh, he's been able to concentrate on, on his techniques and fundamentals, and, and Chuck Long has done a great job with him uh, in those areas. So I'm hoping that together is going to help him uh, be a little more efficient this year. Well, Dean, you mentioned last week some of the physical numbers that have changed about Heupel and better shape, and Stoops backing that up, and certainly he has looked at tonight. Previous series, they should have scored when the ball was dropped, so it really should be 28. Pass is complete to Kilo, and he was hammered by Strait. Great timing tackle that time by Derek Strait. Heck of a catch by Robert Kilo. Lemon in trouble again, and hit near the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Stefan, the linebacker, as he closed quickly on him. Oh, for Joe Hollis's club. Looking at 0-2 here tonight if they don't get it turned around quickly. Shatley. Thatcher from the 20. Set up nicely. Needs to break one here and does. 40. Thatcher again to the 40-yard line. He's done fine, thank you. I'll give you another great play. Let's see if they do. It's high pleasant first and 10 from the 41. Griffin to the 30. And Griffin down near the 21-yard line. A pickup of 20 or more. We'll see where they spot it. Aja Beta <laughs> and Oklahoma first to 10 again. Griffin stopped there for nothing. Loss on the play as Bradley made the tackle. John so Griffin. Lines up again behind Heupel on second. They make it 15 officially from the 26. And the handoff to the end around. Mackey. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line to stop the clock. It's in tight. Heupel all day. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Wolfo. Well, as a defense, you have to make a decision. 8.29 to go before the break is up 28 to nothing, and they are having fun here at OU. Just throwing out the name of Orlando Pace, that type of player. Those are big names, not just big people. Well, the first and 15, and still nothing better for Arkansas State as Adams is stopped on the play. This game. He was number seven who came in to finish off Kilo. Third and nine. There's a first down as it's complete across the middle. Out to the 45-yard line, Mark Hamilton, a junior from Valencia, California, gets his first grab of the night. Less than their opponent, NC State, but they got a little rhythm here. Third and four on the 47. Walker in motion. Lemon, the look into Kilo, and nearly broke a big one. Got the first down as he was ankle grabbed at the 35 and brought down at the 33 by Michael Thompson. Arkansas State down 28 zip. Smith breaks it off, 25-20, should score, and does. Touchdown, Arkansas State on a 32-yard run. Thatcher and Strait were chasing on the play, but Danny Smith, a junior from Cleveland, Mississippi, 
So the Indians are on the board. 28-7 Oklahoma, middle of the second. Out for the Sooners. Heupel. Smith. And Trent dives to midfield. Part of their offense. Yeah. That umpire is going to have to be a guy that's going to be very agile these days. First to ten, here's Works. And Works. Goes in Arkansas State territory. That would be able to take all the oncoming rush. First to ten from the 38. Norman. 35. 30. Norman trying to stay in bounds. And he stepped out. Still. Heck of a play is Josh Norman. Hole on the offense. 15 yard, 10 yard penalty. In motion. Eiffel goes that way. 40. This one will come back as well with a hold. It's that old deal. If the yellow flag comes out, it was <laughs> illegal and it was a pick. <laughs> Now, first and 30 for the OU 42. Heupel, little bit of pressure, finds a man though at the 40. And Savage making the grab there. 17, 180 yards. Going again. This one is picked off. And Arkansas State will get the football back as coming up with it for ASU. Third and 13 now as play resumes and under a minute to go in the half. Arkansas State from its 30. Rolling out this time, Lemon. And again, straight the closest man to the football intended for Pegues, the tight end. Apparently, they're not going to run the clock out. I don't think they're going to take a knee. <laughs> Josh Eiffel got him spread out everywhere. Brings it back to Mackey. Mackey to the 30. I don't want him to get out of bounds. Kansas State, a week off to meet Nebraska. And how they're standing after that will pretty well tell the story for this season. Nebraska winning the day, by the way, if you missed it in overtime at Notre Dame. Yeah, Nebraska did it late. I didn't get to catch uh, the, the most of the second half, but uh, turned it on at the end. And Oklahoma trying to see if they can get something here in the final 23 seconds of the half. Quentin Griffin. Right on top there in for the trail. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. But well defended. Yeah, and Griffin brought down that time at the 25. And here's a let the clock go here. That should be the end of the first half. So Josh Heupel, a couple of touchdown passes to Peso U along with Thatcher's 66-yard punt return. And Oklahoma, a 28-7 lead after they jumped out 14-0 after the first quarter and 28-0 before Smith's 32-yard run for Joe Hollis, Arkansas State Indians, makes it what it is at intermission. All OU and the penalties, both teams get into the act. Yeah, they did, and uh, no punts for Oklahoma, so uh, Arkansas State Certainly has to change that, but I agree with Coach Hollis. They did regain composure there in the second quarter, and Oklahoma let down its guard a little bit. Uh, but uh, Oklahoma can't be disappointed with its overall performance. 115 pounds, he can run through some tacklers. Well, look how many games Kansas State busted open over the years with their kick return exactly. game, particularly David Allen. And right. last week, Lockett stepped in for him. It is such a bonus to be more than just average on special teams. Third and three. And the pass is deflected as OU nearly picked it off. That's Corey Heineke. He had a sack and a fumble recovery last week. And three from the 27. And Shatley boots it away. Thatcher got plenty of room to roll. 38-yard line skips by one. And will be gang tackled in at the 50-yard line. The trail, so no need for the tailback. Three to the near side, and they come that direction to Savage. 40. 35-yard line, and that'll move the chains again for the Sooners here on their opening possession of the third period. It's defenses where these guys are right there in their face, and it'll be a little more difficult. Griffin on the draw. Winds his way to the 25-yard line. Quick checks, and that is tough. 
Here is Griffin looking for something behind Bertram. A flag is thrown as he has stopped at the 23-yard line. Just Oklahoma, Scott Kempnick. Joe Jones made the tackle. There's the call from the official. Bill Kempnick is an interesting story. He's been hurt most of his career. He has wonderful potential. He's 6'5 and a half, 310. He's the strongest guy on the team. Benches 480. He is a player that has to play well because he protects Josh Heupel's backside. He says right now, he admitted, he said, I didn't play very well last week, and he graded low. He's relying too much on his athletic ability and brute strength instead of fundamental football. And I'll flank him. Here's Heupel. They come after him. Got a man, and it's Wolfolk. Touchdown, Oklahoma. What a grab. Talk about miss. Five plays, 50 yards. High for another TD pass. You being... That looks like number two, and that's not Derek Strait. Hey, well, that was about the extent of it. Nice pitch to Billy Sims. Hey, that's Steve Rhodes going all the way. You know, he back wasn't bad either, was he? No, and uh, when you threw one pass a week, you usually had receivers open. Elvis Peacock wasn't a bad player, first round picks. So so far, you've just shown, shown nothing but Heisman Trophy winners and first round picks. Why don't you guys win? <laughs> ah, <really> talent. <laughs> Play action, Lemon. Kilo stays on his feet and cuts it back up across the 40 and the first down. Heck of a run by Robert Kilo after the catch. Mark the 43, Arkansas State last time. Turned it over on downs deep in OU territory. Here's one that's picked off by Thatcher, and he stepped out of bounds, but the interception will count. Now a flag is thrown in the backfield game ball <laughs> may get a big 12 award as well great hands just great hands you see Derek straight there going come on to the right I pull the throw on second and eight and complete across the 35 yard line that's Donnelly Lance Donnelly true freshman from Weatherford Oklahoma with that catch by Donnelly works Looking for a hole and turns it up to the outside. And Ronaldo steps out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Charles Mabry, inside linebacker from Houston, Texas, made the tackle. This is what he did a week ago. Mosey right there. Heifel. Savage. Flag thrown. Got enough for the first down. Oklahoma. Bob Stoops. Pass interference on the offense. Repeat third down. Damian Mackey wasn't his ankle, uh, Dean, but rather a hamstring injury. He's up and moving around. Third and 21. Oklahoma completes it to the 25-yard line, a couple shy of the first down. What a reception Ooh. by Wolfolk. Assumes that his man is going to continue his route. And we'll have to look at his hand. Gary, just stay on that sideline, please. <laughs> His right wrist, it appears, maybe when he tucked it in over the ball, he was holding it as he ran off. Four, trying to get him to jump. Flag is thrown. Yeah, they're looking at his right wrist for sure down here, Bill. The, uh, he came off the field really nursing his right arm, and the trainers are taking a quick look at him here. He hasn't moved his right arm and wrist since he came off the field, and obviously ball, in pain. Ball star on the offense. Penalty hurts, that's against OU. Cool. Having effect right there. Duncan now goes for the 47-yard field goal, and it's going to be well short. So Oklahoma, the penalty, a big, big play there as the Sooners and Duncan. The other day he said, I just love to watch this guy play. He's very active and plays hard every snap. Third and six. Lemon. Somebody got a hand on it. I think Heinke may have got a touch coming from the end. Yep. And call not mention Bud Wilkinson and his era from 1947 to 1963. And the Sooners rolled to 145 victories and three national titles under the great Bud Wilkinson. I watched the game the other night, and 
full replay of the 56 championship team, and there's players thin that can play. Speaking of play, here's Oklahoma again, and off to the races. Works to the 10, the 5. I don't see any flags. Touchdown. Sooners. Ronaldo works. He gets help from the offensive line, but he also does some things on his own. When a crack is there, you've got to accelerate through it. He has great vision here, cuts back, and shows speed. And, Bill, I think he's out to prove that last week was no fluke. No. He was five to go and breaks it for 80. Toss sweep. Kempnick, we talked about earlier, hasn't been playing as well as he would like. 72 gets a good block on the outside. And the rest is Ronaldo Works. And Bill, although Ronaldo Works doesn't have the blazing speed, he is a, a guy that's going to run a little bit slower than the 80-yard touchdown run. Rock Let's go ahead and relax. No. On the receiving stuff team, him. And half the distance to the goal. First down. Number 40 for Bob Stoops. Phases, but don't kid yourself, they would like for the crescendo to be in the Cotton Bowl. Second and 11, well, a little bit of a crescendo from the crowd here on that play as Oklahoma again stuffing the run and walking. For Texas, by the way, if uh, you're following that, who's number one deal there? Third and 12 here, and Adams gets back to the line of scrimmage. Well, he got a yard or two, but back to the original line, and they're in big trouble now as Marshall made the tackle. It's fourth down. We'll show you one of his five plays in a moment here. Oklahoma first and 10 from the 37 after the short punt. And down to the 30, 29, loose ball, but I think they whistled it dead, and Oklahoma good position there on another one when you only got 55, so maybe we'll get a chance to see more of his arsenal tonight. Hyper, speaking of which, to Savage at the 25, and he's brought down there, got one more maybe, and that'll move the chains for the Sooners. Up 42 to seven. Two big play player as well. First to 10 to 24, works. Shows you a little of that lateral and balance ability as he cuts back across the 20 down to the 17 yard line. On the night. Ball on the 17, second and three. Works. Close to the first down, gonna be a little short as he's down to the 15. Mabry made the tackle. This staff turned the quarterback quandary into something really nice very quickly. And they're all similar. Now, this doesn't have Patrick Fletcher, who would be the third quarterback in in this type of situation. But look at these sizes. All around 6'2", all around 215, body fat anywhere from 7 to 11. If something happened right now, he'd be our number three quarterback. Well, the one that uh, some fans may not be familiar with was Hunter Wall. I know you've seen him down in uh, Capel, down in the Dallas area, a very good basketball player and a potential quarterback here. Here's Works. Makes another miss and squirts down to the six yard line before he was forced out of bounds. In the back there, Hollis was wanting the call by Jarvis Smith on the sideline. Second and three from the six. Stopped at the eight yard line this time works. Forward motion, loss in the play and J.C. Miller made the tackle. Heupel. Plenty of time here, lofts it. Smith, rather, Donnelly fighting Jones for it. Off both of their hands, it appeared, and Lance Donnelly unable to come up with it. Vertical leap and able to go up and get that. Certainly more likely to make that catch there. Right. At the uh, 16, a 26-yard field goal attempt from Duncan, who's had kind of a rough night. He hits this one, though, and Oklahoma tacks on three more to make it 45 to seven here in the fourth quarter. 46 to go and 45 to seven. Oklahoma, as the Sooners will take a week off next week before they take on the Rice Owls. And then it is Big 12 play. I've circled or tried to Brent Venables right there. He's the co-defensive coordinator. This is Jonathan Hayes right here. Former Kansas City Chief tight end and a, a guy that uh, Bob Stoops hired even though Jonathan had no coaching experience. And he's done a, they're so happy with him here, especially with, with the special teams. He has tight ends and special teams, and it was just a 180 from what had been happening here. And there's Venables, and uh, he again part of that K-State group that came in here that helped turn things around. Experience. 
to take a great player to become, I don't know, great coach, but solid teacher. The return to the 26-yard line by Higginbotham, and that's where Arkansas State will take over. Well, I think Bob Stoops saw in Jonathan Hayes more important things than experience at being a different category than anyone wearing crimson right now. Bob Stoops is really excited about him, Bill. He's a 6'1", 190-pound player. That Shatley looking for a man, and it is incomplete and well covered on the play. Ante Jones all over Alvin Powell for Arkansas State. You can go north-south pretty effectively, and I guess that's effective. 159 punt return yards, new Oklahoma record. And punt return last year, Brandon Daniels. Yeah. Second and 18. Hibble finds a tight end to the 29-yard line. Tackle is made there. Defense, and this is more of a West Coast make quick decisions, just like the one he's doing there. And the completion here on a first down, Oklahoma. Steve Hook takes it out to the 45. The last completion was to Jeremy Hess from Newcastle, Oklahoma. So some of the newcomers and the reserves get some action here. Everyone. Joe Hollis will come over to congratulate Bob Stoops. And the Sooners win their ninth consecutive home game. And they start off the young 2000 season with a nice 2-0. With a 45-7 victory here following the 55-14 win over UTEP last week. The Sooners, 45, Arkansas State number or the seven. And we'll be back to wrap it up in Norman in a moment.